Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Paula, aka MUA that Paula V, and I'm so happy to have you here. Today, let's do a get ready with me chit chat about my life so you guys can see how I do my makeup for a special occasion. I am getting ready to go to my Thanksgiving dinner uh, with my family, and I know that by the time this video uploads, it's gonna be past Thanksgiving, but we're in the holiday season, so you might have a party, an event to attend to, so you might take inspiration out of this video. So without further ado, let's do this get ready with me. So keep on watching. Hi, welcome to my face. Welcome to my face. I'm gonna start, I want this look to be dewy, beautiful. So I'm gonna start with my Pixi Glow Mist. It has argan oil, so that will nourish my skin. I spray it and tap it so my skin absorbs it. And I'm going to take my poor professional primer and I'm going to put it in the areas that I feel like I need some controlling. This primer is awesome because it fills your pores. So if you have very large pores, I suffer from, um, I had acne growing up. So my pores need a little love. For that dewy feeling, I'm taking the CYO Illuminating Mixing Cream in the color Turn On The Lights. I'm going to put a little bit all over my face. I'm going to look like a beaming light, but you know, it's going to be fun at the end. And I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Silk cream foundation. This is in the color Bamboo Beige. This is my first high coverage foundation and I have, it has a special place in my heart. This bottle literally is not the first one, but it's the first formula that I fell in love with. So I always have it on deck. I dotted that all over my face and I'm gonna spread it out with my beauty blender. forget the neck we don't want those harsh lines in the neck area if you don't know how to use a beauty a beauty blender properly there's many types of beauty blender there's the actual beauty blender from the mark beauty blender but it's basically a sponge and on the next video I'm gonna do an in-depth um, beauty blender versus brush and then there's also a silicone beauty blender and I'm gonna talk about all of that and how to use it properly so if you want to see that stay tuned next I'm gonna take I'm gonna build a foundation so I'm gonna take the hourglass foundation in vanish warm ivory I'm gonna blend that out with my beauty blender Talking about the holidays, I know I use my skin frost mirror all the time. So in my Christmas wish list is the big mirror that Jeffree Star Cosmetics is gonna come up with, just so we can change it up. It's not the same one, but this is so good because it's so big that it just I can see my whole face. It's ridiculous. I love you, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm gonna take my Nars Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the color Creme Brulee. This is really good. This is a really good concealer. Now I'm gonna set my whole face using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And while I'm baking, I'm gonna start doing my eyebrows. I'm gonna do my eyebrows with my ColourPop Brow Pencil. This is in the color... Banging Brunette. This is an also a double-ended eyebrow pencil, so it's great to make your eyebrows with yeah, the dope foot.
gonna cry my eyelids with a, a paint pot from MAC, but this is in the color Groundwork. It has this shimmer to it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a bronzy, beautiful color. So I'm gonna take a synthetic brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna apply it all over my lid. I'm gonna take my my Huda Beauty palette and my Morphe M441, a fluffy brush, and I'm gonna set this with the color Dessert Sand. I'm gonna take the color Musk and out just a little bit to define my crease. I will tap it and concentrate the color in the end and then blend out. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Um, gel gel liner in the color black. I am going to take an angle brush. This is my MAC Cosmetics 168S. Is an angle brush. Now with my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, I'm gonna dust off the baking and I'm gonna bring some color back to my eyes. I'm gonna apply the lighter shades with my Morphe M437. It's a fluffy brush, so it's perfect to get under the eyes. I use these powders also to illuminate my face. And now with a Sephora Pro Precision Powder in the number 59, I'm going to apply the contour shades. For my cheeks, I am going to take my Morphe R10 and I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink Blush. Now for my inner corner, I'm going to take a Morphe M213, the Precision Brush, and I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Palette as well. I'm going to take the color Musk first. Apply it all over my lower lash. I'm gonna take a little of the color out. I'm gonna take my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the color swirl. These are so creamy and they're like six bucks. Really important. I'm 
I'm gonna do my lashes with my light, light camera lashes from Tarte. I am going to apply some lashes and I'll be right back. Now for the glow, I'm going to use my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in the Tone Eclipse with my Morphe M510. I'm going to apply it all over my high point, the high points of my face. For the lips, I am going to use Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lip in Rich Blood. It's like a pearlescent red. It's, a, it's definitely a statement lip. Now to finish off the look, I'm going to take the same pixie mist and I'm going to spray it all over my face so it can set the makeup and because I feel like I'm very powdery right now so this will melt all the powder down. Well you guys, this is it. This is the final look. Now I'm going to run and do my hair. But I loved making videos like this, like chill back or relax, just showing you what I'm gonna do. If you like it, don't forget to comment, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe down below. I love to have you here. I am Paula, aka MUA that Paula V, and it was my pleasure. I'll see you on the next one. Deuces!